I'm going to show you guys how to hook up a PS4 controller via Bluetooth to the Nintendo Switch. Their Pro Controller costs about $80 brand new, $70, $80, bucks, uh, which is way too expensive. Um, we're going to test out Ultra Street Fighter 2, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and Mario Odyssey. We will be using this Bluetooth dongle. It's the Magic NS. And it says it's for the Nintendo Switch, but um, actually it works for PC and it works for other systems as well. As long as you have a Bluetooth controller and you synced it and you connect it to the USB, it should work. All right, let's test it out. All right, first things first, we're going to take the Magic NS. We're going to plug it right into the front of the switch, just like that. And if it's flashing blue, you're going to hold this button for three to five seconds till it flashes green. And then you're going to hold it for another three to five seconds until it flashes red, just like this. It's got to be red to work with the switch. I learned that the hard way. Next, you're going to take a regular USB... 2.0 cable micro USB cable plug it into the end just like that then you're gonna take your PS4 controller and you're gonna plug the other end right in like that so just like this and it will light up blue and it'll sync When this light stops blinking, that means it's synced up with each other. And there it is. New TV. You can see. We'll test the responsiveness of this. Very responsive, works perfect. Like if I was using a regular Pro Controller. All right, let's try Super Mario Odyssey.
Twirl the joystick around. See if it works pretty good. Yeah. Awesome. I just wanted to point out on Mario Odyssey he tried shaking the controller to get Mario to roll and it did not work so um, basically it's just the buttons that work not any type of motion control or anything like that All right, and there you have it, the Magic NS Bluetooth dongle for the Nintendo Switch.